from West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Hello and welcome to Breaking News, the show where we have no idea what we're about to do or say and aren't allowed to smile or laugh. I'm actually Geese. And I'm Jeff, but you can call me Dad if you want, kiddo. No pressure. I just love your mom so much. Panic at the local roller rink as a rogue rollerblader trolled the stroller derby by rolling around bowls and bowls of ravioli. Every year at the stroller derby, sleep-deprived parents straight up body check each other with their tots and toe as a way to blow off the steam accumulated from carrying their for grimy little booger bags that never stop shitting. It's like rugby on skates, but with way more toddler concussions. But yesterday's event was upended by a self described pasta stan who slung severely sauced ravioli all over the playing space, straining skates and making one kid fall right down on his butt in that great way where he doesn't know he's supposed to cry for a few seconds and it's fun to watch the sadness creep slowly across his face. Said the vandal, pasta is the one true food staple. Cauliflower rice tastes like packing peanuts and quinoa is just steamed dirt. Down with all keto fascists. Well, Moe's played the role of Roly Poly. One of the goalies boldly doled a cannoli to his skull, killing him instantly. Holy moly, what an imbroglio. That can't be right. Let's check in with our entertainment reporter, Fink Dinkum. Fink, how are you? Exhausted, actually. I just finished watching Netflix. <laughs> oh, the whole thing. Yep, temples to toenails, my dude. And how was it? Like being kicked in the shins for about a month. There are so many Christmas movies, like half of them feature Santa either fucking or trying to fuck, which really noodles my poodle. I'll bet. It was endless. I sat through Norwegians fishing peacefully. All dogs go to heaven except yours. <laughs> the blinder side. Look who's talking now. It's toilets <laughs> and they're pissed. Marvel's can't man and 10 full seasons of some horrifically unfunny crap called Friends. But it was worth it to discover ne Netflix new rap competition, Rhythm and Flow. Oh yeah? It was a revelation. I realized I'm hip hop's <laughs> Nightmare! Oh my god! This is my actual nightmare! I can't rap! Look at me try! I gotta go four sick freestyle bars! Oh! Dry, drop the mic! <laughs> wow, so polished! Do more! <laughs> oh my god! You know. <laughs> okay, so here we go! Here we go. We're gonna rap about Netflix. I am gonna rap about Netflix on the internet. Really going for it. Why not? Got a mic right here on the floor. Really gonna try. Are you laughing at my sick rap? Here we go. And now it's swinging. Sorry, Bo. Sick. And how does the hook go like? <laughs> The hook, I'm really glad you asked, is... Oh, she's rapping. She's rapping and she's tapping. She's rapping and she's tapping. She's rapping and she's tapping and she's spinning around. Great stuff, Fink. I'll be humming that one all the way home to my terrible husband. <laughs> Let's turn now to our chief economy person, Damp probably. Damp? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> the economy slipped today, down a slip and slide, which always looks super fun in the commercials, but just ends up chafing your rum tum and your dugger. A stone cold id bummer that left <laughs> the economy a sad little baby whose friends all probably have a text chain without him. Then the economy brightened considerably on news that its ex got fired from their job before spiraling again after eating a third bowl of frosted flakes when it promised itself the second was the last bowl. Said the economy, I should be allowed to doubt myself. I have to give my permission to have down days. Then it cried and cried, which is also allowed. It better be. Oh, quick question. Damp, how do derivatives work? Interesting. So, uh, a derivative is the slope, uh, is, is the slope of a curve. Uh, Can you wrap it? I will not, and I have not been asked to. <laughs> the derivative is the slope of a curve. So to do it, I mean, I did. 
Well, I wasn't asked to, so I only do what I'm told. So if you have an equation, you actually just add one to the exponent, and then Could you, you divide. It, um, I actually Boo. wasn't. <laughs> Question Boo. about exponents. Could you define them? Yeah, you can find an expo. What do you mean find one? No, define. Oh, like define. A, yeah. Uh, an exponent is like what? Um, like three to the third. That means three times three times three. Do you get it? Which is what? Which is what? Which is. Nah, uh, oh my god, 27. A quick follow-up. I, I do think that we were talking about uh, uh, derivatives in the economic sense, not in the mathematical sense. Um, they're very interrelated, okay. asshole. All right, great. Uh, actually, uh, dad. Uh, Thank you. So, I just love your mother so much. Anyway, it's the fucking slope of a curve. So if you're looking for the derivative of a curve in economics, I'm sure it just means like the growth rate of some fucking stock. Sounds like my 401k would be in trouble if I had one. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. I'm actually Geese. And I'm just really trying to make this marriage stick, you little snot. So meet me halfway here. Before we go, we should say that our loser this week is Elaine. Oh, she can't stop <laughs> laughing. She can't stop laughing. Except for now. Thanks for watching. Breaking news. This just in. You have just watched another episode of Breaking News. There are 10 episodes only available on dropout.tv. Go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. Please.